It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing. We are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. So people can get ready now for when Lord Jesus appears for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days Church community. Thank you for praying and giving to support this ministry to be here. There's news from the Middle East where there has just occurred one of the most ingenious and devastating attacks in Middle East war history. We're in Southern Lebanon. There were thousands of electronic pagers and then walkie talkies that were remotely exploded that killed dozens of Hezbollah and Iranian terrorists in southern Lebanon and their leaders and wounded thousands more in an attack that signals a new unprecedented war sign in the Middle East not ever seen before. The first wave of the Mideast attacks happened day before yesterday when a remote call was made to thousands of electronic pagers, which had just been received by the Hezbollah terrorist group just a few months ago in southern Lebanon, where they had started using the pagers to communicate within their terrorist army group instead of cell phones, which Israel had been tracking their cell phones and using them to target and kill Hezbollah terrorist leaders but unknown to Hezbollah leaders. Their new pagers had been filled with an explosive that was wired to explode when a certain number was remotely sent to the pagers. And when the call was made to these pagers, secretly filled with explosive inside, then they blew up in the hands, faces, and torsos of the Hezbollah and their Iranian ally terrorists and leaders. There were at least 12 Hezbollah and Iranian terrorists killed by the exploding pagers and another nearly 3,000 more that were wounded. And then yesterday, <clears throat> there was a second wave of these modern day technological Trojan horse attacks on Hezbollah and Iranian terrorists in southern Lebanon and Syria. We're in this second wave it was walkie-talkies that had also been secretly filled with an explosive that were remotely exploded in the hands and faces of the terrorists. This second wave attack killed at least another 20 Hezbollah and Iranian terrorists and leaders and wounded over 450 additional more. With some of the second wave of explosions happening at funerals by Hezbollah, for those who were killed in the previous wave of attacks. It was reported that these two waves of attacks caused confusion and hysteria among Hezbollah fighters when they realized what was happening as they frantically tried to get rid of their electronic devices. As this chaos disrupted Hezbollah communications and operations throwing Hezbollah into disarray. Reports also say that Iran has airlift, air, airlifted nearly 100 of their leaders and soldiers from Lebanon back to Iran for further medical treatment who had sustained severe injuries to their hands and faces in these explosions. The Iranians that were, that were wounded in this new ingenious Mideast attack also included the ambassador of Iran to Lebanon who also had one of these Hezbollah pagers that he kept on his person as well, showing just how completely interconnected and integrated Iran is with their terrorist ally and proxy of the Hezbollah terror army in southern Lebanon. Some reports have said that his face, the ambassador's face, was severely injured and that he lost one eye. Investigative reporting is saying that it was Israel's spy agency called Mossad that somehow secretly intervened in the supply chain delivery of these electronic devices to 
Hezbollah, where they then planted the explosives and the code for detonation inside them. And then, after Hezbollah had received, distributed, and started using these devices, Mossad simultaneously sent the code to the pagers in the first wave and then the walkie-talkies the next day in the second wave, triggering the devastating explosions over the past 48 hours. This new kind of attack in the Middle East was the most devastating of attacks on Hezbollah, as this was the biggest breach of Hezbollah in all of its history, where this caused the deadliest day for Hezbollah since the current cross-border fighting began with Israel nearly a year ago when Hamas made their heinous surprise attack on Israel on October 7th. And these were also the largest numbers of casualties for Hezbollah in at least for two decades or perhaps ever. And this was an unprecedented new sign of Middle East war not seen before. Now the Hezbollah fighters have to be wondering, what is next? Our pagers exploded, killing and maiming us. Then our walkie-talkies exploded, killing and wounding us. Then it was reported that in the panic that set in, that they were scrambling and hiding and shouting to turn off their electronic devices and take batteries out. They still have to be wondering what is going to happen next. And there are reports of even more explosions still happening in Lebanon in residential complexes, stores, and shops. And Hezbollah operations and communications were placed into chaos, which that is exactly what you want to happen to your enemy when you are preparing a major attack on them. This modern-day technological Trojan horse attack that has just happened has been immensely successful, putting Hezbollah in disarray to where they are now more vulnerable than they were before to a major attack from Israel. And just hours after these waves of explosions in Lebanon, the Israeli Defense Minister, Yoav Galan, said that Israel was now at the start of a new phase in the war. And Gallant also said that the center of gravity of Israel's war with its enemies is moving north, referring to Israel's northern border with Lebanon. As the Israeli army, such as the 98th Division, is reported now to be relocating from Gaza to the northern border of Israel. As Gallant said that he estimates the countries of Israel and Lebanon are now found at the outset of a new period in this war. And it's also now reported by Israeli media that Israeli artillery and air force strikes are pounding Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. As Israeli officials say, they are now turning their attention to the northern war with Hezbollah of Lebanon, with the officials of the Israeli government saying that they have added stopping Hezbollah's attacks on Israel and securing Israel's northern border with Lebanon to their overall war goals. And the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, has just said today that these attacks were an unprecedented blow to Hezbollah that he said crossed all red lines and that they are a declaration of war with Israel as this new, unique kind of attack in a new sign of war in the Middle East with these exploding personal electronic devices could be the call triggering expansion of Israel's prophetic war of the last days with the Arabs, as prophesied by Joel 3 and Psalm 83, that will change the Middle East preparing for the end time. And these events and conditions that are happening right now in the world, they are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church, 
by being born again of the water and the Spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus said that we must in John chapter 3 and verses 3 through 5. And as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by the Lord Jesus in Matthew 16 verses 18 through 19 described how in the acts of their preaching in the acts of the apostles chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of the Lord Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles actually in their Holy Bible scriptures. Please contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone in your area. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. And down at the very bottom of the page, in the footer, in smaller print, you will find our email address. Please just email us with the name of your town, your state, and also place your zip code, which is very helpful, in your request, and we'll be glad to respond and to help you, just like we've helped so many others throughout the United States and in other countries. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. And the need is greater than ever before for a prophetic ministry like the Signs of the Last Days ministry to declare the true path of the prophetic signs to the glorious appearance of Lord Jesus. And we need your help more than ever before. Please join together with us now in this mission for Christ Jesus by giving your prayers and also your donation as the Lord leads you on our website, signsofthelastdays.org. And on the giving page, there you can give your offering securely. And also on the giving page is our mailing address as well. And a link is provided down below to the website giving page. Thank you for being a part of the prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ by helping this prophetic ministry to share the signs of Bible prophecy to the world. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings where we have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we are sharing biblical prophetic signs of the end time prophecies that are happening now in the world. Upon the eastern star